Hello everybody, I hope you're all doing fantastic today. Um, I'm a one, uh, okay. Hello everybody, I hope you're all doing fantastic today. I'm a young wildlife nature photographer from South Africa and um, this video is going to be about uh, wildlife photographers you'll find in the field or basically wildlife photographer stereotypes. This is episode two. Um, if you didn't see episode one, go check it out. I will link it up here. Um, so, yeah. Let's get into the first one of episode two. The first one is the accessory guy. This guy has a bunch of accessories on his camera. His camera is rigged. You see an accessory before you see his camera. Um, yeah, this guy is totally, he goes crazy when buying accessories. This guy has um, basically bubble levels on his camera to make sure his horizon is perfect. This guy has, I can't even think of all the things you can get. But this guy, yeah, he has everything. If you're looking for some type of accessory, go look, go uh, look and find this guy and ask him. He'll probably recommend the best accessory for what you want. Um, as I said, yeah, these guys, their cameras is rigged with accessories. And then we have the flash guy. We don't see these guys a lot. I mean, really, a flash with wildlife photography. But these guys get quite creative shots. Um, you, as I said, you don't get these guys a lot, but they have massive flashes rigged on their cameras and they shoot wildlife with a flash. Get quite unique images and quite strong images sometimes. Um, so, yeah, we get the flash guy. And then we get the real amateur. This guy, yeah, he's just starting out. You can see um, he doesn't really know what he's doing. His images are like, overexposed or blurry or underexposed or out of focus i mean this guy really is just starting out he's a he's a beginner um he, this guy shoots in auto or sport or landscape or i don't know but this guy doesn't shoot in uh, aperture priority or shutter priority or manual this guy yeah he's really just doesn't know what he's doing and yeah, you should probably, if you're more experienced, go help this guy. You will really, uh, you will really find it helpful if you're trying to help him out, um, because this guy needs the help. So definitely go help this guy. Um, he's, he's he's a beginner. And then you get the guy that is better than the professional, but has a cheap camera. Yeah. Okay. No. Just. Just joking, but um, yeah, these guys, they are quite incredible with the images they can get. And when you see what gear they are using, you can't believe it. Um, so I, I personally think I'm not, okay, I'm not better than a pro, but I'm, 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 <laughs> I'm quite good with, with the gear I have available um, without bragging or anything. So um, yeah, if you want to see more of uh, wildlife and uh, nature-based content, especially on how to get very, very professional looking images with cheaper gear, limited gear. Please go check out my channel and subscribe for more. Um, and then let's get on to the next one. Then we get the fine art guy. This guy shoots with a print hanging on someone's wall in mind. Um, this guy really, yeah, what he's trying to do is sell prints basically. Um, he shoots black and white a lot of the time. He shoots sepia, um, muted colors most, sometimes. This guy also a lot of the time removes the background and uh, make it like a high key image. So um, these guys, yeah, they, they shoot with a print in mind. And then obviously we get the no editing guy. This guy is a beginner, okay? This guy is not yeah, he's, he's still a beginner. This guy thinks like, no man, the cameras, the, 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 um, the images I get out of my camera, it's just 
they're, they're looking they're looking great i don't need no editing my camera pushes out these these well looking perfectly uh vibrant everything perfect images um i don't need no editing yeah these guys they'll later find out that <laughs> yeah maybe she maybe they should start editing um and then we also get the over editing guy so this is basically the guy that was the no editing guy that just now found out that he has to edit and now he's just like now that he edits he over edit everything so yeah we, we also find these guys a lot they boost that clarity like all the way saturation like way too far they don't touch the vibrance only the saturation all the way contrast no man you don't hold back on that one push it all the way um <laughs> yeah yeah these guys will also find out that they yeah yeah they're over editing um these guys sometimes don't you don't get them to 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 uh, realize that they are over editing so it's quite a a bad habit to have to over edit but I mean, if you if you if you get more experienced, you get over that stage. Um, but it's not really a nice stage to be in. Rather not edit at all than over edit. And then we get the real professional editor. This guy goes into Photoshop, removes the spots on his sensor, removes the spots on his lens. Um, this guy uh, cleans up the background. Um, yeah, this guy. Yeah, he's he's using advanced techniques to advanced techniques to chase away flies from his knee no just kidding um, this guy uses advanced techniques to basically clean up and just make his image quite perfect um, these guys don't manipulate their animals like they don't um, give them different color skins and change their eyes from uh, brown to blue or anything but um, they know how to clean up and make an image that's flattering for the eye. Um, some, some, some photographers might be against this because it's not 100% just camera work. But, I mean, these guys get, get nice images that's, that's just flattering for the eye. And sometimes it is uh, basically a photographer's mistake that he's just cleaning up afterwards. So it's not like he's changing the image, it's just um, just finalizing the final image. Um, yeah. And then of course we get the camera trapper. This guy puts up cameras against trees, on the ground, in water. Um, yeah, this guy, yeah, he puts out, he, he knows his gear. Um, he, if you if you find an advanced camera trapper this guy knows what he's doing really this guy yeah you shouldn't try to tell him what to do if you don't do it yourself because i don't think it's easy i have not tried it but i don't think it's easy first of all you have to know your animal first and then second you have to know where you should put up that camera and then you have to know where to face the camera and everything so you have to know your animal you have to know your and your environment and where the animal likes to be um, you have to know how to sort out your lighting because you're probably shooting um, in all weather uh, all weather and all all day conditions so in darkness everything so uh, you probably have a few flashes that's uh, flashing when the camera shoots so yeah this guy he gets some quite unique images and images you won't really get um, when you're going out and with your camera and physically shooting the image um, these guys get quite unique images as i said um, yeah and i think the gear that you have to get to get into this is quite expensive also so it's not the everyday photographer that does camera trapping so yeah these guys they are quite unique in the way they capture some of the images and I really like some of the images they get and then finally we get the camper yes this guy has a van or something that he goes out with into nature and then 
basically for a few days shoot from basically from his van so he goes out and then returns to his van and camps so this guy camps or sh uh, sleeps in a van um, I really love the style of shooting I think every wildlife photographer should should do this because I mean every wildlife photographer should be very close to nature and that is basically an incredible way to just get closer and closer to nature and just camping and just uh, sleeping in nature is something that's just you don't there's nothing that you can compare to the experience you get when just waking up with the birds singing the trees everything around you it's just incredible so guys if you have not tried camping out or, or sleeping like in a van or anything um, in nature somewhere where you're shooting you have to try this you just you just have to I mean I can't explain to you how it feels it's just it's incredible um, yeah we get these guys not that much and that's actually sad because really as I said it's incredible but go out do what you want go out just shoot a lot um, I don't care how you can be the flash guy you can be the long lens guy you can be the tripod guy um, okay well that's the first episode um, guys so please go check out the first episode and then um, yeah you can be the flash guy you can be the camera trapper you can be the yeah you can be anyone um, even anyone I did not mention so please if you like this video go down like it if you want to see more wildlife um, photography content go please subscribe to my channel um, and then share this video to someone else to inspire them to give them some tips and I will see you in the next one and have fun shooting mm -hmm.